Welcome back to the Reading Fall Street Fair here in downtown Reading. I'm Kevin Vent. I'm one of your hosts for today. This is I'm Laura Crook. I'm your co-host for today. All right. We're having a great time here with all the people and all the boots and everything. And we had the pleasure of being joined <laughs> by Representative Jim Dwyer. He represents the 30th Middlesex District, which includes uh, parts of Wakefield and Reading, uh, down at the State House in Boston. So welcome. Oh, Kevin, thank you very much. It's uh, the Reading Fall Fair since it began. I haven't missed one, and I tell you, it's always a great time. I have my uh, grandchildren here today and my wife, and it's great to walk up and down and see a lot of familiar faces and smiles on their faces because it really brings out a good community event. It's tremendous. Absolutely. What's your favorite part of the Reading Fair? Oh, just seeing, seeing folks that you hadn't seen maybe in a little bit and mm -hmm. All the vendors and the boots, it's good for business for downtown. And, uh, sure. you know, just, uh, I mean, when you think about community events, um, Reading is one of those towns uh, that just get together an awful lot. But I think yeah, after the fall and after the summer, this is a good way to come back, good segue to come back and have mm -hmm. a community event and see a lot of folks. It's uh, just a great place to live. And, and honestly, it's great for business, too. Sure, you know? absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I think anything we can do to help the local business owners, uh, especially kids fall, that kind of thing. I think it's a good way to get this done. Well, you know, you it, you know as well as I do, Kevin, uh, small business uh, is what fuels this country, and mm -hmm. small business is what uh, sponsors our Little League, uh, uh, Pop Warner football, our cultural events. You know, business really uh, bounds together here in uh, Reading, and uh, a lot of folks, uh, uh, folks that uh, contribute a lot, and uh, sure. our kids and our students get an awful lot out of it, too. And yeah. Several times, but I read a report a number of years ago that said 80 cents of every dollar that's spent on a local business stays in the local community yeah. through salaries and wages. Exactly. And through exactly. Little begin pop Warner. Exactly. Exactly. So anything we can do to help support the local business is, is a really good thing. Right. Well, I know you've been working hard in uh, representing us down in Boston. As we're talking about small business, what are some of the things that are coming up to maybe try to help small businesses out uh, in the coming year? Well, we hope uh, that there'll be legislation that will be filed uh, you know, to, uh, to help small business get started, first of all. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's an onerous proposition when somebody wants to get into business. So hopefully, and Reading's been great at this, uh, from Peter Heckenblacker through Bob Lalasha, as far as expediting the permitting business, sure. to allow business to get a, an even start and a smooth sailing into a transition. Like Zynga down the street, I mean, that was a perfect, perfect example of the community right down here at, uh, when the, uh, the old Atlantic building came down, you know, they have, they have housing down there now, uh, which is, uh, uh, housing with the rail transportation, you get a little rake off on that naturally for your town. Sure, sure. And uh, obviously the business is downstairs, downtown from there. So hopefully we're going to be able to do a little bit better for uh, small business and get business flourishing. That's yeah. for sure. Well, the, the mixed use uh, facilities are oh, cool. tremendous. In downtown area like this work right. out really well. Not only providing business owners location to have their business, but it's also providing clientele right there in the same building and uh, providing street, you know, Chicago, you know a little bit about that. I yeah. do, yes. Yeah. yeah, it's lots of mixed in, uh, mixed, um, mixed use properties in Chicago. Well, there's a perfect great. example yeah. right there. I mean, you folks can can uh, own that own, own a condo right up on top, yeah. right down there. They don't have a have to have a car. Yeah. yeah. They get on the train. They go into Boston. They come back. Life is good. Exactly. Yeah. It's a it's a win win for everybody. All their shopping is right there. Exactly. Right? Yeah. All that. Exactly. Uh, so you've been around. You've seen some of the boots. Anything? Any uh, any highlights? Of or, or I think they're all tremendous. Uh, you know, just getting started coming up this end, we'll make our way down the other end, sure. you know. And uh, uh, I always uh, sponsor the kids' zone, so mm -hmm. we're always okay. glad to do that. And, Terrific. Um, the best part of me, to a certain degree, the folks I feel a little bit is uh, the folks over here at uh, EMARC. Oh, yeah. They oh, yeah. have a booth down there, folks with developmental disabilities, and I, I don't think we should ever forget that population of those folks. So Absolutely. It's good to see them down there. Uh, a lot of friends of mine that, that are at that booth. But just all in all, they got the football booth there. They've got Harold's chicken pies now. I'm surprised they <laughs> yeah. haven't got anything on my <laughs> on my shirt as yet. So I love Harold's chicken pies. Yeah. I can't oh, wait to get there. Yeah. The rumor is they were giving away some samples, too. So Oh, they are. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. So, you know, if I can get two jugs of that in these hands, then life will be <laughs> good. You know. yeah, all right, well... We are competing with the uh, opening day of the Patriots today also. Go Pats. So do you yeah. have a prediction for today's game? Uh, the Miami always plays them tough down there. Yeah. And it was some years that we went down as a family, my two sons-in-laws and my two daughters. And 
my grandchildren at the beginning. We used to go down three years in a row for the Pats game down there. So I know it's always a tough game. Right. So I'm going to predict the Patriots are going to win the game by 10 points today. All right. You heard it here. Representative Jim Dwyer saying Patriots by 10. Well, let's keep our fingers crossed. Keep our fingers crossed. Good yeah. thoughts all year. That's right. Oh, yeah. That's right. All we have to do is stay healthy, and I think we're going to have a Super Bowl team. <laughs> all right. There we go. A Super Bowl championship. Well, thank you very much for stopping by. I appreciate that, Enjoy Kevin. the day with your family. Thank you so much. Right, I appreciate that. Thanks a million. We'll appreciate be back it. in just one moment.